Another year and another wardrobe post. This year I won't show you everything and I didn't put my dresses on my mannequin because that took way too long. But here is my current wardrobe. And let's start with dresses and I know this is a long video but I'm still gonna start with the rant because this fucker I mean it's a pretty dress I've always loved it but the zipper has always been a bit wonky because it was sewn so that it was really hard to get over the waist bit so it was always a fight to get this dress on even though it had some spare room but it was just so weirdly so today I had a couple girls over for a Lolita interview, I mean for their school, so nothing big. But anyway, I was putting this dress on and I was like, huh, they're coming in half an hour and I tried to put it on, but I couldn't get the zipper up, it just stuck like here. And I was like, well, it's no biggie, I know it's a hassle, so I'll just do something else and then try again. And 15 minutes before they were supposed to show up, I was like, okay, I really have to close this. And I tried to get it up, and sometimes it helps if you put it back down, and up and up, and I couldn't. And I was like, fine, I'll change my dress, it's no big deal, they're coming in at any moment, I'm gonna have to whip up a new coordinate. But it won't go down. And here I am, stuck with a dress that is here, I can't take it off, I can't close it, and any minute now they can come. I was like, what am I gonna do? So I had to take a seam ripper and just rip this open. So now I have to change the zipper to this. So that was fun. <laughs> Luckily they were five minutes late, so I had plenty of time, but that was fun. Let's do that again, said no one ever. So, surface bell, <laughs> cathedral, ca cathre cathedral, <laughs> JSK in blue, and I absolutely love this, but the zipper was wonky and now I have to re sew the zipper. So, yay! But back to my other dresses, I keep them in order of length, so the shorter ones are up front and the longest ones are at the back. And I'm gonna start by this one. I count this as a salopette. I always cord this as a dress. And this is handmade by me and the fabric is from Etsy. And let's begin. First is a bodyline dress that I always have to wear an underskirt with. And I wear it rarely because it's too classic. It's so florally. But it's pretty, so I have it. And my first dress I got from Bodyline. I still like it, I like the grey, but I always wear a cardigan over it because I don't like the full shearing at the bust. And sadly, as a third, sadly because this is so short, is an Alice and the Pirates dress. And I absolutely love the green, but I quite rarely wear it, but I would still never give it away, again with an underskirt. I have CEL uh, stained glass print and you can wear it with or without the color piece. another dress from Bodyline and I really love the print because it has blue and diamonds and stripes and skulls. This is my favorite Bodyline dress and I actually wear this quite a bit, especially if I'm going somewhere where I might get it dirty. So This is from Ikea and it's a bit wobbly. I'll have to get a new one. And this is Fan blush friend, I really love the red and black. It's a good, good dress that I can either wear as gothic or as classic. So it's nice and versatile. 
an OP by Metamorphose and I really love the ruffle butt and with shearing this allows for my shoulders so this is actually quite comfortable when worn Here is an Infanta JSK and I absolutely love this print I adore it and it's nice and heavy thick velvet which is good for Finland because most of the year it's cold and my cat dress from Honey Honey Taba Indie brand I absolutely love this dress it's one of my favorites immediately and a handmade dress for when I started out with Punk Lolita Eyelater added the bottom ruffles and I have a tutorial for that and my dream dress Juliette et Justine however you pronounce that I really love this I hate the fabric it's almost like swimsuit material it's really weird and really thin but the print makes up for it. I absolutely love this. And it's nice and long. A fan plus friend OP that I had custom made to allow my shoulders but it's still a bit tight. So it's not the most comfortable. So I only wear this if I know it's gonna be a short thing. But it's really nice and long. And nice and gothic. And here is an underbust JSK that I made and have a tutorial for because I really love green and there's not nearly enough green in Lolita in general. And my most expensive dress from Innocent World I paid over 200 euros for this even though it was second hand but I absolutely love it. It has sweets in the print you may not know this, but I am a massive sweet tooth. I bake and eat a lot of sweets. like Not like candy, but baked sweets. So when there was a classic dress with like tarts and cakes on it, I kinda had to get it. And that was my dresses. I really love all of them. I'm not planning on selling any of them. And I haven't sold any from my last wardrobe video, but I have taken a couple away from you. So I don't use them anymore, but I haven't sold them either. They just sit in my closet of doom. And then onto my skirts. This is where I keep my store-bought ones. I have my handmade ones in a different one. And let's begin. This is my newest skirt. This is an indie brand from Taba. And I absolutely love the print. And I have my oh, trusty surface bell velvet skirt with red embroidery. This is my go-to gothic red and black skirt. I absolutely love this one and it's nice and warm. And then I have this skirt from Restyle which you can see <laughs> in a lot of gothic wardrobes because this is very moitier like and it was around 40 euros I think when I bought it. So I absolutely love this one. And I have Lady Sloth. I like this because I can really tone it up or down and wear it in classic cords, but I've also done a couple gothic ones. This is also from Lady Sloth. It has like college e material and I mainly use this in casual Lolita or Lolita inspired looks and that's another skirt 
This is my only brand skirt. This is from Baby, the Starshine Bright. It was Halloween Alice or Trick or Treat or something like that. And I really like the colorway. This is nice for like very light coordinates with creams and grays and I really like that. I don't have a lot of things for that kind of colorway. And Fan Plus Friend. I absolutely love this. I wear this with steampunk as well because it is quite steampunky. And nice and long with the ruffle. And here is Bodyline. I actually like this even though it's Bodyline. Again, it's one of my favorite skirts because it's so full of details and I love the quality and it has uh, shearing in the back and boning. It's a bit short. I've been meaning <laughs> to sew some lace to the bottom to make it longer for about a year now. So maybe someday I'll do it. I hope someday I will do it. And here is another Fembless friend skirt. A rare white one. <laughs> and I really love the music themed print. And this is super long and heavy and Oh, I really love this one. One of my favorite skirts. And this is an off-brand. It was Morticia. No, Pentagram. One of my first skirts in Lolita. But I still sometimes wear it. It has nice velvet printing with skulls and flowers. And it has a really nice shape for a classic Lolita because it, it allows for petticoats quite nicely. Here on the handmade side we have a green skirt that I have the tutorial for and you saw me wear in my last video. And a simple skirt that is lined that I also have a tutorial for and I really love because I have very little again of fair colors in general but in beige especially so I really am happy with that skirt and here is my very first kind of floral piece that I made and I chose black and red with a bit of green it has roses so that it's kind of classic, kind of gothic. I didn't want to stray too far away from my gothic roots. And my absolute favorite of my handmade pieces is this. I made this mostly for aristocrat. It is very high waisted and it has ruffling and it's A-lined and this is really long. I absolutely love this blue fabric with the velvet printing. Absolutely one of my favorites. This is also a bit more for aristocrat because it's so long. I made this to match my purple shirt. They are exactly the same shade and it has trees and owls. It looks really awesome. And a very heavy black and gold white, white winter skirt that I also have a tutorial for. And then I have some skirts that I don't really use anymore, so I'm just gonna leave those out. And these also get less use now. I have a black and white basic skirt that was one of my first ones I made so it's very simple but I do really love this black and white striped skirt because I love stripes this looks awesome I have a jacket with exact same striping so it's like a gender bent build juice I love it as for pants for Kodona and Oji I have only three as of yet I have this brown really baggy and excuse the cat hair, I always mm, 
roll these before I wear them, so they are a bit cat hairy now. So these are nice and thick and warm brown ones that I also wear for steampunk. I have bodyline ones and these are actually quite nice. I, I do recommend these. They are long, they come under the knee. And then I have a handmade pair that I have a tutorial for. just basic knee pants. As for blouses, I don't have a single brand blouse. I have a couple indie brands, but I don't have brand because they usually don't fit my shoulders and also I don't want to pay that much money for a blouse. And I have these in order of sleeve length. <laughs> so. Let's start with my very short sleeves because I live in Finland and summer is so short and not so hot and when the couple weeks when it's really hot I just don't go outside. So this is very little use but I still like it. I don't really wear that one. Here is a blue one. I don't know how the camera picks it up but it's a nice kind of moitier blue and I absolutely love this one. This is a Tabo brand. It's in Chinese but I think this was Dear Celine. And I don't wear that. Here is my only purple blouse that I really love. This is from Classical Puppets and I really love the quality. And half sleeves are a nice length. I like. They are very versatile. And one of my most used blouses, this is Infanta, and I need to get a full sleeved blue blouse. I only have this one, but I absolutely love this one. And this is again from the same brand as the red blouse. I think this was Dear Celine. Nice quality. And rest are full sleeve blouses because I like those the most. Uh, the one I'm wearing right now is actually from eBay and it's really nice quality. So I have a video about that called an awesome black blouse or something like that. This is vintage, a nice cream blouse with tie that has the other end inside. Yeah, I wear this both with Lolita as well as boy style as well as steampunk. And this is an eBay blouse that I absolutely love. I may have to get another one because the buttonholes are kind of dying already. But I absolutely love that one. As well as this one. This is off-brand and can you guess what kind of colors and sleeves I like? It is a very subtle grey pinstripe and that's really hard to find so I'm very happy that I found that one. I can't remember where this is from but it is nice for gothic cords as well as boy style. And the same blouse in white that I showed a bit earlier, this is also from eBay. a bodyline blouse that I don't really wear because the sleeves are a tiny bit too short but I borrow the jabot all the time. And a red vintage blouse that I really love. It is a really gorgeous shade of red. I don't know how well the camera picks it up and it's nice and flowy chiffon so I absolutely love this with JSKs. Ah, this is mostly for steampunk and boy styles. Vintage and a fabulous friend. Brown blouse that at first I hated but now I love. And it comes with a thing that you can tie but I can make bows look pretty so I don't wear that. And a black vintage blouse that is one of my most used blouses. It has a nice ruffle.
an off-brand blouse. This is a nice cream color with pinstripe and this is kind of sheer. I don't know if you can see the hanger through it, but I absolutely love this both with Lolita and boy style. And my baby custom-made surface spell black and red blouse with a jabot. Absolutely gorgeous. And a purple kind of sweatery thing that I don't really wear anymore but still have. And that was it for blouses and then on to vests and jackets. And this was the worst purchase ever <laughs> from Fan Plus Print. I mean, the quality is awesome, but I have quite wide shoulders, so this makes me look like a barn door. It's really nice, but I just can't wear it. But it because it is such a nice quality, I can't sell it, so it just kind of sits there. And I use these for boy style. I have a red and black vest, a basic black vest, and then a grey pinstripe vest. They just chill in here. And then I have this vest from eBay. Underbust. This looks really good with both Lolita and Boy Style. And a kind of military vest. That is black with bronzy coppery buttons of brand. And I really like that type of vest, so I have another one which is from a different of brand and in brown. And a corset that has nothing to do with Lolita. I like to wear this. This is a super long one. I like to wear this with boy style gothic boy style. I absolutely love this. It's full of ruffles and it's nice and gothic. For cardigans I have this beige one which has pearl kind of color detail and it's short and has like three quarter sleeves. This is from an indie brand, I can't remember where, and last I checked they were on hiatus, but this is really nice and the sleeves are super long, which I love. And here is, I made this from a cardigan to go with the bodyline dress that has shearing for the whole top, I made this to cover that up. And it's kind of nice and cute, so I wear it with other things as well sometimes. And for jackets, I absolutely love jackets. I have a brown short one that I also wear with steampunk, but mostly with Lolita. And I wear this mostly with boy style. And this is one of my favorite jackets. It goes well with both Lolita and boy style. I like, again, the buttons and the color. It's H&M, same place where I got the black vest. <laughs> it's really full. I'm trying to get things out cleanly. <clears throat> this I wear mostly with boy style. It's nice and deep navy color. I don't know how the camera picks it up. And at the back I have my bodyline vest because it has really long tails so it's at the back. And I am planning on decorating this so it doesn't look so boring. This was in the hallway because I wore it yesterday. This is my favorite Lolita jacket. This is Red Queen's Black Army and I absolutely love it. It has a nice tail and it's full of good quality lace and lacing and rose shaped buttons and this is just absolutely lovely. 
and I have one heavier coat that I don't wear that much anymore but this was just a basic red coat that I added length and details to and it's a bit worn down I wore this for two winters but I don't I haven't worn it this winter yet and here are my shoes in the back I have my rocking horses here are my winter boots down there are kind of basic pumps my old school shoes and some ankle boots I haven't really gotten a lot of shoes this year because I already have a bunch so in the front are my shoes for boy style here are some of my wigs and hats these are two brown ones the straight one is a bit ginger -y. And the top hat is handmade and the blue hat is just decorated. And here is my long brown wig. My short wigs for boy style. I have a grey and a brown and a black one. And here is my white wig and my dark brown almost black wig. Some mini hats. I swear I have more. I just can't find them. And some berets. And here I have a bit of random accessories. Here are some accessories. Headbands, roses, bows, cat, you know, you name it. Here is a bit of those, not everything, but some. And because this is my video, here are some fabrics that are going to be dresses and skirts. And some bags, here are what I usually wear I haven't gotten all that many bags this year because I already have a bunch the cross one is my favorite although I don't get to wear it much this is another cloak bag though you can't see it and some steampunk and that was it for this year and I hope you like this video and I will see you again next Wednesday. Bye!